it time, bro? Is it time? Is it time? I think it's time. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Yo, chat research. Yo, research, research. Why is she doing that, bro? That's a fire shot. I wish. Yo, does that shit smell good? I, I don't know. I don't know if it smells good, bro. Like, I, I, I want to know. Right, but anyways, 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 back to the thing at hand. Back to the thing at hand. This thing is giant. Yo, what year are we in? The sixth year? Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. Bro, I literally, me, me and Billy grew up together, basically. Basically. I, you could call me parasocial. You can call me uh, 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 lame. I don't care, bro. We just, you know what I'm saying? We, we grew up together type shit. Um, I, I, I was like, what? Like... 13, 14, when I found her, and she was like 14, 15. Like, bruh, come on, man. I'm telling y'all, bro, like, come on, man. I grew up with her, bro. I basically grew up with Billy, bro. Y'all can call me parasocial. I don't care. I was there since the, the first one. Now I'm here at the sixth one. It, it, it feel great, man. It feel great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, I need, a, I need to meet Billy, bro. I, yo, all right, 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 let's start it. Doing it again. My name is Billie Eilish. 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 I think it's October. Yo, I was here. I was here since since this one, bro. It's the 2017 one. I was there, bro. I was there, bro. We're 18th, 2017. It's Neither October 18th, 2018. <laughs> October 18th, 2019. October 18th. 2020 October 18th 2021 my, Okay, my favorite one I don't know how this one is going to be so I can't judge the most recent ones. But my favorite ones was was 2019 and 2020. I think that, that those was her two best interviews. I mean, you could say the first one or the second one cuz it was like showing major growth from then to now, but 2019 and 2020 was her best two. Facts. October 18th 2022. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Jesus. I have 257,000. 6.3 million. I think she has like, she has like, she has like, hold on, I'm gonna see how much she 40. had before. 40.7 million. 67.5 million. 94. She was at 94 last year? Oh, fuck no. Uh, She probably had 100, she probably had 100 mil now. 0. 0.1. 100, 120. Followers. 106 okay. million followers. Yo, that's crazy. All right. Billy's shoe, all right? Yo, Speaking of Instagram. She 100% she 100 has burners, close friend. You know, 100%. 100% she got a burner. 100% she uses close friend majority of the time. 100%. Because anything she posts now is going to be, like, just everywhere. All right. So. Billy's shoe, all right? Speaking of Instagram, I got some ideas. We're gonna do something new. What do you want Vanity Fair? I seen this, I seen this. Me. I didn't comment, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't comment. Boom. Ready? Three, two, one, post. As we wait nice. for these little- Yeah, look at her. Three, two, one, post. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my, she literally just sees herself, bro. What the fuck? As we wait for these little questions to come in, let's get to what we're here for. I am feeling really good. It's just so cool to get to do this every year. I don't know, I feel like- Yo, when is it gonna end though? That's sometimes people are like, you're still gonna, you're doing it, like you're gonna go back and keep <laughs> doing it. And I just, I love, I just like it. It's just like a really cool, uh, I just, they mean so it's much like, to me. Every like year I watch diary. these and I'm just like, ah, uh, I just feels really, Really, it makes me really happy. Yeah. I feel hopeful and I feel happy and I feel in a good 
a good spot in my life right now. Me too. Nothing like that second year. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I made an album. I did get two more Grammys. Yeah, the documentary came out. The Bond movie finally came out. Finally. See, I met the royal family. I put out a book. I did an Amazon special. Put out a movie with Disney. <laughs> the movie was fire. Crazy. It's an unhealthy obsession you have with Billy. I Yo, finally got not to tour obsession, again. Bro. I accomplished and finished. Bro, a this is not an obsession. This is not an obsession, bro. It's just. It's literally just like that's my dog, bro. That's literally my that's my dog, bro. I would say twin, but we not we not twins, bro. Like you, t <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's a my full dog. Full world tour, didn't miss one date, which was really exciting. I headlined Coachella, DM her, no. which was <laughs> so surreal and insane. I headlined Glastonbury. I got an Oscar. You got an Oscar? Don't let something Yo, my current ruin the the future um or the past what the fuck does that mean like what does that mean play it again don't let something current ruin the the future um or the, or past. the past girl don't let something current ruin the future or the past <laughs> <laughs> all right I'll do it if you do it. What's the most uh, important thing to me right now? Chilling. Maintaining um, my happiness, which I've been experiencing for like the first time <laughs> in many years. Mm. I want to stay happy. That's a big goal for me. I fuck with it. I love that I said that. I was really scared too. I was like, you know, had been really bummed out for a minute and I just, Finally, didn't you feel like that. She said. Yo, I stop, was stop so worried it was gonna bro. go away. It's so weird Damn. that that's me, but that me doesn't know this me. I don't know. Life is weird. The I, most important I, I thing know. to me now is being in touch with myself and how I am actually really feeling and listening to my gut. Mm -hmm. Trusting my gut, mm -hmm. my family being good and healthy and happy, I agree. and my relationship being really solid with them. I agree. That's what's important to me. Thanks. Nah. I don't feel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I feel that there is pressure on me, but I don't feel the pressure. Do you know what I mean? That first year, nah. Nah. Uh, <laughs> I've always found that yeah. question very interesting because clearly I've had really different feelings towards it. And honestly, like, I don't know if I ever know because pressure is not something you can see. Yeah. And you can't touch it or anything. Like it's it's, it's just there. Yeah. yeah, I would say I feel that there's pressure on me. I don't feel debilitated by it. I don't feel that's, that's controlled what I, that's by what it. But there's a lot of pressure that goes with all this stuff. So My yeah, there's thing. pressure for sure. There's a line in everything I wanted that I think about a lot. It feels like yesterday was a year ago but I don't want to let anybody know because everybody wants something from me now and yeah. I don't want to let them down. Yeah. I just love that line and it, it kind of like breaks my heart every time I sing it and hear it because that's really the truth is I don't want to let people down. I really don't want to let people down. Yeah. I ate some vegan, gluten-free uh, Yo, I forgot she's vegan. Stuff, some cheese, some fake cheese, some fake bread, some fake potatoes. <laughs> fake potatoes? <laughs> what? I had a burrito with a gluten-free tortilla. And then hummus with a wooden free tortilla. <laughs> okay. I had a berry bowl, a homemade acai bowl that my mama made. Fire. And I came here and I had a bagel with cream cheese. A gluten free bagel with vegan cream cheese. Bagel. So, guess what I ate? Bagel? Three <laughs> bean burritos oh. with a gluten free tortilla. <laughs> burritos are bomb. I have a big Louis Vuitton blanket above my bed, and Wait, then the above oh. the other side of my bed, it's a big poster that has all my fans' signatures on it, and I have like lights above my bed and a canopy. Uh, it's Fire. true. Um, like hell. It looks like hell. Like really, like, <laughs> hell. It's like there's just red lighting everywhere. Yo, I but like, yo, I, this is this is really how it be though. Everybody, not everybody, but most people had this phase, and they look back at themselves with this phase, and then be like, oh my god. That's why, that's why I hate being like that, bruh. 
Because when I am like that, I try to not be like that. Because I know that when I look back at it, it's going to be so disgusting. I, that's why I don't be like that. Or I try not to be like that. It looks like hell. Like, really, like, dope hell, though. It's like, it's so, there's just it's, red it's lighting everywhere. Stupid. I have a bunch of uh, Gucci fabric hanging from one side. It's so high beast, I can't even believe myself. It's like spooky and sexy. It's dope. Yo. <laughs> I will literally shut the fuck up. Bless my little heart, though. There's so much of me from that age that I, that is out there that exists for people to go and look at and see. And then there's footage like this that nobody's ever seen before. And I'm like, fuck yeah, nobody's seen that. But now, now, they now see it's going it. to be out That's too. tough. <laughs> Just more I, I knew I was, I was, I was like, like, I don't remember That's these questions. Okay. Uh, my bedroom now is a different bedroom in a different house. Yo, I had a show in New Zealand house. pretty recently. Kind of all of the walls were glass, and it was like so outside you could see everybody outside. Yo, why do I, have I was captions? like, I don't care. So I like ran away from the security guards and all the people, and I went and I slammed open the door and I hugged all of them and just like was with them. That was a really amazing moment. Look at my little snaggle tooth. Ugh. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. That was a that was a good one. I felt I think about that one a lot actually to this day. Right now, in this period of time, I feel so connected to the fans, whatever you want to call them, in a way that I just, ah, oh, it feels so good. I can't even tell, it feels so fucking good. I like, agree. it's just, I just feel solid. Sometimes people say things that, that, that really mean a lot to me. Like, like one, at one point, I was, I was out there and somebody grabbed me really hard and it hurt and someone else that was nearby kind of was like, like hey, literally like someone in the crowd and it was so loud but this person just kind of was looking at me in this way and i was like looked at them and they were like are you okay oh my, was, god. oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god and it was just like oh such god. a small moment but it was really oh my god it was really nice it made me feel good what constructive criticism oh my god you your um yo what 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 do you have for me i'm listening i'm all ears i'm all ears Billy, I'm all ears, I'm all ears. Gosh, that's a great question. Um, maybe trust me. I trust you. I trust you. I'm, I'm in control. I'm in control, I'm in charge. I know what I'm doing. I'm okay, I'm, I'm, like you can trust me. I'm I, not going I anywhere. Do. I'm not gonna be gone, you know? I know. Um, unless I die. Yeah. Then I'm God, gonna be gone. God forbid, God so forbid. So you're gonna have to deal with that if that happens, but <laughs> we'll see. Yes, like my whole everything. All of the clothes I have She's are free. I'm, I'm All the sure shoes I have are free. I get socks for free, clothing, That's shoes, um, rings, jewelry. I was just so, <laughs> like, I can't. You know, it's so funny that the people that shouldn't be getting free stuff be getting free stuff. So what I kind of try to do is just give it to my friends. That's all, I've been I knew more it. in my I knew life it. just like going and getting things that I actually really want. I knew it. Instead of just taking stuff that's free. I don't have an entourage. I would love one, but I'm 16 and right now it's just my family, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with having that while I can. You know, when I don't really need oh, that, man. when I can't really have that anymore, I'll miss it. So aware, I'm kind of okay with it. In life, I don't have one. I have one, you know, I guess at shoots and stuff, which is really just like my team. But I'm not, you know, going around the world with an entourage. I'm like me pretty much alone with a per some person, right? Whoever I'm with or my family. I mean, truly, that that that's never really going to change. My family is like the most important thing in my life, so I'm with them a lot. Or I'm just alone in my car. Damn. I love being alone in my car. That's my entourage is my car. Um, I mean, he's obviously not around as much as he was when he lived, when we all lived together. I mean, we see each other all the time, and also now we're, we're starting to make music again. Nice. We just started the the process of making an album. 
which is really oh exciting. God. So oh now we have like <laughs> specific days where we see each other, which is really nice because, you know, you get caught up in life. I'm hanging out with my brother a lot, actually. It's my buddy. Definitely. The homeschool one? Just anything about being homeschooled and like people don't know anything about it. How did you make friends? What? <laughs> that, that, I mean, that question I've been asked my entire life before I had interviews. It's all anyone would ask. How do you make friends? Yo, she got such nice <laughs> eyes. Oh my God. That one hasn't been asked in a minute. That was annoying. That was an annoying one. Didn't love that one. I just get tired of being asked like, the same thing. I guess I just want creative questions. Like, I think that I would ask really creative questions if I were them. <laughs> Speaking of creative questions. The fans? Nice. Let's check this Instagram real quick. Nice, nice, nice. Here's what you this are asking. This is bad, me. very bad. <gasps> Yo, oh, I should have commented. I, I literally would have been here. I literally would have been here. I should have commented. I should have commented. I should have commented. I should have I should have commented. I should have commented. Good. Oh, these are really good. <laughs> Least favorite song of your own? Watch. What was your favorite show this tour? Boston. How many songs are you working on? One, currently. Favorite thing about doing this interview? I don't know, I feel really connected to myself. It's really cool to have these, what, five versions of myself to interact with. That's just so insane. It feels like I'm interacting with other people, but also it's me, it's just really cool. I don't know, I really like that. Most growth between years. I've changed more from the beginning of this year until now than I have in the last like five years. I mean, honestly. Your favorite band. I think I gotta just say the Beatles. Nice. Safe Burritos answer. or pooping? Ooh, I don't wanna choose. <laughs> I guess burritos. Yeah. But pooping's important. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Yes, I do. Wait, what's, no, what is it? <laughs> Sorry. No. Have you ever smoked a weed? No. Really? She never smoked weed? Yo. That's kind of crazy. I don't know why. I'd imagine her smoking weed. I'd imagine her smoking. I don't know why. Like one time, like at like 17. Like that's what I imagine. Just one time. Do you want to have children? Yes, I do. No. I don't know yet. I think so. Billy, Jesus loves you. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for the questions. Back to the other questions. Okay. I just wanna, I wanna try to be really in touch with who I am because there was a moment this year nice. where I wasn't really aware of who I was. I was just kind of <clears throat> following along with like who I had decided to be. Yeah, living. It's true. I was still, I was still doing that in this moment. I knew it too. I knew when I was talking. I there knew when I was sitting. Go to who can help you, bro. What are y'all talking about, bro? I am literally fine. I don't know what y'all are talking about. There. What was going on? I have a couple other things that I like to keep to myself, that are aspirations for me, and we'll see how they go. Hopefully next year, me can without me having to say it, know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's so annoying. I do that all the time. And then now you don't oh, know. Oh, I saying. do that all. Honestly, I've done that so many times in these fucking interviews where I'll be like, well, I can't say that, but me in the future will remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I would like to maybe skydive. Okay. Maybe do like a big, like a bungee jump off a, off a cliff or something. Yeah. I really enjoy fear. Wow. I want to get an electric car. I want to rescue some horses. I've had a, a very big transformation this year with my fitness lifestyle. I've seen and, it, I've seen it. Um, it's been a really insane process and been, I feel better about myself than I ever have, which is, Good to hear. makes me feel proud. I worked really hard on it and I just wanna get really fucking buff. <laughs> I just wanna be buff. Um, yeah, so hopefully by next year I will be Ripped. Nice. Biggest rumor though now um, that I sold my soul to Satan. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> that, that talk period was funny, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, that I'm in the third season of Euphoria. That's not true. I'd like to be. Wait, what? Euphoria's fucking fire. No, I don't like dating at all. No, no, no. It went, it went, from, it went from no to yes to no 
to now yes. <laughs> no, thank you. you know she no, I don't have a boyfriend. I can't, I could not have a boyfriend that would just be mean to him. I hate things that aren't exclusive. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Why do you it's remember? Because I'm a real fan. I feel extremely grateful for the relationship that I was in last year. And I think he's fucking so much happier now, which makes me really happy. Yeah, I do. Oh my God. And <laughs> it's really cool and I'm really excited and I'm really happy about it. I managed to get my way to a point in my life. See, my life, if I, if I really point. needed help, like y'all say I do, I, I would have right there said, yeah, I'm her boyfriend type shit, but I I didn't say that. So like, I don't need help, bro. Like I, I I'm not delusional, bro. I'm just I'm just a W fan. Where? Thanks. I not only was known by a person that I thought was the hottest fucking fucker alive, but pulled his ass. Are we kidding me? Yo, she got rich. Can we just round of applause for me? Yo, W. Thank you. Top ten, top ten rich moments. Jesse Rose, oh everyone. My God. <laughs> I pulled his ass. All me. Oh, yeah. I did that shit. Oh, yeah. Don't be fucking is. I locked that motherfucker down. Yeah. <laughs> My, whatever they say, love language is just physical touch. Yeah. I just need to be touching skin all the time. Touching and cuddling and hugging and, and anything skin related is really a, a big thing for me. And, and other than that, just like freedom. You know, I don't want to be controlled. I want to be trusted, and I want to be able to have space, and I want love and and attention and equal admiration is really important. I just I'm really inspired by this person, and you know, he's inspired by me. It's really cool. Judge me, please. <laughs> I don't. And then one word, fucking no. It's yeah. my style. <laughs> Billy Eilish. She was so miserable. Oh my god. In one word, fucking no. It's my style. Billy Eilish parody. Anything goes. I was gonna say back to basics, maybe, or just like. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Back to me. No, basics. Go, 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 basics. The old me. I don't know. Something like that. Back to basics. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> Fruitvale Station. Fruitvale Station. Station. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is a, is a solid choice. Yeah. I used to watch that movie when I was a little kid, and it's like still one of my favorite movies. It's just, uh, it's just so good. It never gets old. Doesn't age. Yo, she finally I changed. Love that That's film. crazy. Brockhampton. Tierra Whack Techno. Arlo Parks. The Doe. Cake. The Cardigans. Dora. You know who? And then also. I don't know who. <laughs> me. A while now, I've been really having an identity crisis a little. I felt like I was pretending to be Billie Eilish. I felt like a parody of myself. Yeah. That lasted for a bit. Like we, the 2020 Billie was very identity crisis uh, overboard. And then I was kind of freaked out by that and felt really distant from myself. The biggest thing I'm struggling with now is a specific relationship, friendship that I'm trying to figure out how to not be really angry. I'm trying to learn to not hold grudges, okay. not let it make me um, treat people weird because of a fear of abandonment a little bit. It's pretty low. I can sing pretty low because I kind of have like a manly voice. Low C, maybe? Ooh, uh, I don't know. I can sing <laughs> pretty low. Oh, it's so cool. I can sing really low. I, I mean, I don't know by heart. I would assume I can probably sing lower because I'm older, right? Do, 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 do. I don't know. Maybe I can't sing low. We. Yo. Pretty good. Oh, there you go. That's stupid. This is my mom. 
She is sick as yeah. a booty. I don't mind. I can stay here that long. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. Hello, baby. His grandma. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you so much. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Join me. <sighs> I love you, Billy. So wholesome. Yes, sir. My sweet mama. Love you dearly. Mommy. <laughs> Come hither. Hi. Hi. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you very much. It's fun to be here. Uh, don't, don't, don't. She's gonna cry. Oh, 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 oh classic oh, Maggie Bear cry. Watch Alma. Please. I miss all the yous. Oh. You, miss, you. you miss this little kid? How? You're so <laughs> annoying and mean. Aww. Yeah, as hard as it was. <laughs> I miss it too. That's so sweet. You're funny, and, and all the stuff that you make fun of about yourself was special and funny and. Brave and charming and weird and <laughs> <laughs> oh, mama. Aww. I love you. I love you so much. Chill. That's crazy.